All right, here we go. This one is going to be another 357 SIG test. And this one is going to be another core bond. It is the Glazer Safety Slug. That is the 80 grain blue. This one is rated at 1,650 feet per second. So that's what this one looks like. It does have that uh, blue polymer tip, that little plastic ball that's stuck in there. And basically, uh, it's kind of like a little shot shell. So I believe it has number 12 shot inside that round with a super thin copper jacket around it. So today we're going to be trying out of this full size Glock 31. That is a four and a half inch barrel. We'll be going through our gel. So that is a 10% block. So we do have our jug backstop just in case. I don't think we are going to get a pass through on this one though. And our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So we'll set our chronograph up like always to get that uh, impact velocity. And we'll see what this thing can do. Here we go. All right, here we go. We are stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so that one was definitely a lot lighter load. You could tell there was hardly any recoil on that one that I felt. And our impact velocity on that one was 1584. So it's not too bad. It is a little bit uh, slow for what it's rated, especially out of that full size, but uh, still not too bad. Definitely not like that one we just tested. All right, so let's check out that impact. Not too bad. Pretty nasty looking impact right there with a huge star pattern and you can actually already see that shot coming out little BBs everywhere and let's check this thing out from the top nasty wound path on that one crazy looking so let's see if we can get a measurement from the top before we go to the side and we'll start about right there so that is a three inch stretch cavity on that one so pretty much the same as this other one which i believe that one was a three or three and a quarter that was another corbon round but not too bad so let's check it out from the side and as you can tell came in really really nicely it looks like it expanded immediately on impact and you can see all that shot there's a pedal right there or i guess part of that uh jacket and round and it carried out not too bad it's all stuck right there so we'll see the leading edge so back here is right at eight and a quarter so eight and a quarter inches it's about the same that we got out of that 380 we tested the other day but uh tons and tons of debris inside there you can see that jacket made it out there you can see the polymer tip but uh there is a lot of shot in there so it's not too bad. A little bit slow for what we uh, expected, but still not too bad. So this one, I don't think we're going to be able to actually pull out uh, until we get back to the house. And maybe even after melting this block, um, we'll be able to get all the fragments and stuff out. But uh, not too bad. Let's see. Let's try to get a measurement from this side. So from this side, we are at two and three quarters. So from the top, it was about three. From the side, it's about two and three quarters. So we'll flip this block over. And from this angle, you can kind of see it a little bit better. All that stuff that it just kind of blew up in there. Tons of little BBs. Let's try again from this side. So this pedal did kind of blow out just a little bit. And we are right at just under three inches on that one. But not too bad. And you can see this other nasty cavity. That was another Corbon round. So these things are really coming in, doing a lot of damage. Do you get some pretty shallow penetration, but that's what that one is made for. And you can see that polymer tip down in there with the rest of that jacket. And quite a bit of that shot kind of carried out there too. We did test this one in the jugs just by itself um, for our four layers, and it only went through one jug. So not too bad in this gel. Let's give you guys a little bit better look. And like always, we will get our screenshots at the end. And uh, I'll try to pull out all these little BBs and debris that we got in this one. There we go. That one was Corbon Glazer Safety Slug. That one was the blue one. There we go. All right. So before I cut into that one, I'm just going to show you guys one more time. 
pretty good damage on that you can see all that shot or all those bb's down in there then there's that uh polymer tip in there with a lot of that copper jacket so quite a bit of stuff got drug in this block so i probably won't be able to show you the full thing there's a pedal right there too uh probably won't be able to show you all the debris until i actually melt it down but uh that, that's a lot of stuff in there. So definitely wouldn't want to get hit by that. So there is the cross section for it. You can see massive damage. Huge splits on this one. You could basically see all the way down in there. With all those little BBs everywhere. And I believe that is number 12 shot. So they're really small. But that is creating a lot of damage. And a lot of stuff that you wouldn't want in you. But and that's what that looks like. Now we'll cut it open. All right. And same thing on the inside. Just a lot of damage. Came in pretty much exploded. You could tell that gel is real rough looking in there. Not our normal cuts that we get, but kind of just blown apart. And I believe this one... I think like I said about eight and a half eight and a quarter inches so not too bad on penetration but man it did a lot of damage coming in and same thing this one probably an eighth of an inch or less came in and just blew up but really deep cuts down in there tons of shot tons of plastic and this one didn't uh drag in any of that cotton either so looking really nasty on those uh cavities on this one but there we go that one was the 357 sig glazer 80 grain safety slug all right so instead of melting that block down i actually just hand picked all this stuff out and it was an absolute nightmare there is so much debris and so much just shot that was in that round it just made a mess in that block. So it took about half an hour to get every pellet out. But uh, there we go.